Good morning, this is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts. Welcome to my channel. So we are back to do the finish up on this journal. Um, I did, while you were away, I did go ahead and I tied this. I decided against a chain and um, a latch because of the bulk. Because the front of this is right there and it is just the, the thick paper. So I was worried that the the metal jewels in there would poke a hole through here. So I went with this. And you know, this is fine. We've, we've used it back here in um, some of the things somewhere. Right here. And I think I've used it on some of the tags, if I can find them. <laughs> here we go, here's one. And then just some different things on that. So um, I'm up here putting some things in pockets, seeing what I have left. What can I chop up to put into the um, into the little envelope? Let's see. I think maybe on this one it could look like a really long ticket. Let's stub punch it. It can still be a little journaling card. Or and we might not use it in here at all. So um, we do have a little pocket right here that I almost forgot about. So we better put something in that. Let's see. Um, there's tickets, there's mini, a mini booklet, <laughs> if we cut it in a booklet. But any, besides a, a booklet, it could be a, just the seed packets. We could put those in. Or it can be turned into a little booklet. I think we'll just turn it into um, journaling cards. We'll cut this one off right along there. That one right there. Oh, crooked. Ooh, I can cut a crooked line. Did you see that? Look, it's still crooked. <laughs> oh dear. Well. I've always said I couldn't cut a straight line, so. So here we go. Let's look at how, how bad it really is. Oh, it's, it's not too bad. There we go. We'll fix it. Okay. So now we have those two seed packets. Probably would have been nice if I would have turned them into seed packets, huh? Now, to write on the backs of these, you'll need a, a white pen. Because I'm going to leave them black. So there would have to be like a white pen in your presence to write there. But I think that would be cool. I mean, what a difference that would be, huh? And I'm going to um, give these a little quarter inch rounder just so they're not so sharp going in and out of that little pocket. We'll just make it a little bit nicer. There we go. And when we do that after we ink, we have to re-ink our little quarters. There we go. Perfect. Bring this back over so you can see where I'm stuffing them. Right down in here. Now we have a pocket up here. And I thought that I would put these in here. Like that. Now this one is from the front cover so I'm going to need to cover it. This one we can leave as it is, or we can 
ink it up a little bit. Um, I love using this to ink up for this. how perfect that is. It worked out great. And then I'm just going to ink around the edges. Now the other one we'll have to put paper on. We're almost done. Can you imagine that? Better start my timer. Okay, I'm going to put this one in here. There we go. It's a journaling card. I'm not going to worry about putting a ribbon or anything on it. Um, this piece. We need to cover it. Not with that, no. Now I do have some of this paper left. Could just glue that on there. That'd be kind of a nice paper to use for that. Um, and it's kind of the yellow in keeping with the yellow and, and everything so let's do it it doesn't matter if this stuff shows through the words and stuff I think I'll go with this because this paper that I'm going to put on here is very lightweight. So I don't want it to um, wrinkle all up and get weird if it gets too much wet glue. Okay. Just going to push that down on there. I've got gooey fingers, of course. There we go. And of course, I have glue on the mat. So how is everybody today? I sure want to thank you for joining me during this project. It's been a really fun one, I think. Um, I think I've, I've got some really unusual items put into it. Um, well, maybe not unusual. I don't know. Maybe clever. <laughs> I don't know. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, I think some exciting envelopes maybe no I don't know what the word is I guess I'm just thinking that the quad the quad fold the slip and the slip and flip quad is I thought turned out really good um, even though I had problems with it but I persevered through it and that's the most important point and that's why I show you when I make mistakes unless they're just so serious that it takes hours to fix but you know if that's the case then I'm going to let you know that that was the case um, I'm just going to clip these corners a little bit um, Yeah, that's why I, I like to show the whole process because you, it's important to know as a, a artist or a, or a bookmaker or you know um, a, a journal maker 
like we are that we all know that you know it's not always easy and there are days when it's just like one mistake after another just happens oh my gosh I have days like that you know sometimes I'm ready to just throw in the towel and say heck with that I don't want another day like that <laughs> but you know I persevere and sometimes I take I just have to walk away and that's that's good just walk away from it and uh, come back tomorrow put it away for a few days and then you know at some point it's just going to come to you that I, I know what I need to do I know what that page needs that's what how the slip and flip came to me and that's how it came to me how I was going to fix the um, I was looking all for this how I was going to fix the um, the document holder because remember I made a mistake on it and so when I came back I showed you that I had started it and created a new one to replace it um, I may have gone on that on my own um, that wasn't my original plan but um, because I do like to make sure you guys see everything but it was kind of one of those things I think um, you've probably seen me make the document folder and a lot of you have made them because it's uh, from Rachel at Roxy Creations was her brilliant idea thank you Rachel that was wonderful okay so now we have this so we have four items here I don't know that we need to add another one I mean we could but I also have these little tags that we could just add without adding strings and stuff on them although this one would be cute with a little yellow one wouldn't it it's like a giant ticket and I am not decorating these um, I think that um, whoever gets this journal might want to decorate them um, perhaps they have a different idea than I do I don't know why but perhaps they do there we go that looks better okay let's check in here okay we have two there we have a bundle of them there we have two in there we have two here um, we do have two pockets in this piece two little slip pockets and here are some tags that we could put in there but those are the glossy ones that I'm not sure how, how bad I want them in there um, the other thing we can do is I do have some paper left um, and I do have some of this paper left too that we could use in here um, I think what we'll do is make a big journaling card um, pencil oh dear oh dear oh dear there it is okay that up there for a moment and we'll cut this off right about here and then we're going to need to cut it down to about here I think I'm going to have to cut it off just a little bit more probably at the top this time because I don't really want to clip that leaf off there the poor rooster's standing on it I don't want him to fall
Okay, now it's going to fit perfect. So let's see what we can do with this. See that? Very nice. Okay, I'm going to um, go ahead and scallop the corners on this one. They're going to be like scalloped potatoes. Well, not quite. Maybe just scallop corners. And I'm, like, like I said, I, I really don't want to do very much to these. I do want to put some images on some of these papers here, though. But, yeah. So... I'm even playing these videos on Saturday and Sunday so I can get the whole journal out there and, and done, you know, in case somebody wants to make it. Um, the other thing I did want to say was, um, um, well, I've got a lot to say. Um, don't forget to go over and check out Shannon's channel um, at Mixed Media Minnesota. Um, She's uh, doing some really interesting things right now. She's making um, a really cool miniature uh, type journal. It's more like a um, a traveler's notebook size. And, uh, oh, it's coming together so beautifully. So, hi, Shannon. And then over at um, Free Spirit Arts, Carol Frigoli. She is doing a dark journal. Don't let that scare you. It's not a frightening journal. Um, it's a grunge journal that is absolutely stunning. If you like grunge, and I'm falling in love with grunge now, and that's Carol's fault. Carol, that's your fault. But I'm falling in love with this grunge, and... Um, Watching Carol make it is mesmerizing. So I suggest you go see that. Um, and then um, if, if you're interested in um, learning a little bit more about self-care, um, 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 it's not like, you know, hygiene and all that. No, no, no. It is um, heart and soul self-care. And... Um, Tammy, uh, Tammy Van, Tammy Van Antwerp was doing, is doing that right now. And it is a, a fantastic thing. She, um, there's a couple people following. I'm following along, but I'm not, um, putting it on my channel. Um, but she is, uh, putting it on her channel. Carol is also doing it. And, um, Gosh, they did a great thing on meditation last week, and it was really wonderful. And um, Tammy was on a little trip and sent us her self-care Sunday at while she was at Puget Sound, and it was so beautiful. Um, I really appreciated Tammy, and um, and I appreciate how you and Carol are um, really um, making this a. Uh, an exciting and uh, heartfelt and beautiful um, way to journey into your heart and soul. And it's it's just fantastic. And I so appreciate it. Thank you. So I really suggest you go see those three. Um, I do want you to check out Rachel at Roxy Creations video because she's doing that. She did that document holder. I think it was her seventh uh, daily challenge or weekly challenge. Um, I think it's that one. And before we, uh, you know, before you venture away, don't forget to go over to Treasure Arts and see how she did her matchbook. Um, she made several beautiful ones. So um, I want to thank everybody for um, allowing me to be inspired by you. And um, so anyway, just so much to be thankful for. And um, I don't know, it's just, there are days when you just feel so grateful, you know, and I guess that's kind of where I'm at. 
is I'm just feeling really grateful and um, appreciative of people and and I know for me it's because I feel like I finally got my life back and it's been forever since I felt like I could live you know and breathe and um, do my own thing and like I've told you almost every video and it's because I'm excited about being able to venture into this full time and um, and uh, you know I'm figuring out how I can can get more done and it feels good to me um, I'm the kind of person that just waits for the most high stress moment to get everything done and now I'm unlearning that and learning how to just get it done without feeling the stress. So it's been absolutely wonderful. I just can't say enough good about taking care of yourself, you know, and learning how to um, how to live again. And uh, I lived before, but I, I wasn't. I wasn't happy because I it, I was doing something I didn't want to, did not want to keep doing and so um, you really you really have to take care of yourself it's a really important so anyway that's what I wanted to say about all that now we could just put that right on there on this tag um, I think I will. I'm not going to super ink this, just enough that maybe the tips don't show all the white. Um, yeah, so I'm just very excited about being able to make more videos and I'm very excited about being able to um, <clears throat> put more into my content. And uh, as soon as I get to working on my Etsy, I'm going to be very excited about that, too. Um, right now, I'm just in the throes of taxes with, uh, that I haven't finished yet. Um, I've got just a little, little tiny bit left, and then they're done, and then I just got to turn them in. So, and let the bookkeeper take a look. She always catches me on something I forgot. <laughs> I'm gonna crooked that a little bit. Doesn't need to look like a perfect sign, does it? There we go. And um No, I don't really like the black hearts too well. We could put our bee up here. Um, to put our bee up there, we need something behind him. What are we going to put behind you? I don't know. I'm a bee. Well, 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 Mr. Bee. Mr. Bee Body. Oh, there we go. Not that. Not that. Nope. Nope. Here was a pocket I was making, and then I got a phone call. So I had to um, tear it apart. Well, I had to write on it. I didn't have to tear it apart. <laughs> I think we'll just put that up there. doesn't need to be too much, does it? So anyway, I am feeling very positive about things. How are you guys doing? I hope everybody's good. I'm thinking of you, Robin. I want you to be feeling good again. She's not sick or anything. She just has a doggy that's not feeling very good. 
and we all know how that is if we're if we have fur babies we are very close to them and they are so so dependent on us you know and we want to do everything right but they can't answer us and you know it's always we're wondering you know are you okay or where are you hurting why can't you tell me because <laughs> oh it's so hard yeah okay so this is going to go right in here with that there we go there's that one and the other one is right here and what shall we put in there oh we have another one of these we could put in there we have to put some paper on the back of it um oh we could just use this let's do this uh probably right there So the nice thing about having paper like these that you can write on the back and stuff is that um, putting all the ephemera and stuff into your journal, at the, if you do it at the end like I often do, and you know, we do. I have a bunch of pre-made stuff too. I could be putting some of that in there. I have some great pieces. Um, but it can be it can be overwhelming stuffing your journal when you're done and so you know that is um, why I'm doing the Roxy's weekly challenge this this go around and um, I'm trying to build my ephemera up so that when I put together a journal at the end <laughs> I don't have to um, I don't have to work so hard at doing that. That'll be a lot better. Okay, there we go. Let's put that one in there. Now, we don't have any in that one, but I do know that over here, in this one, we do have two of those pockets. So in this one, I'll put this, and... What else? Um, I'll see what else I have over there in the envelope in the box. I have a bunch of little pieces that will be going with this journal to its new home, so I'm not concerned about. Um, not too concerned about what you know about it not having enough stuff okay. This time I want to just round the corners. Um, I want to do a half inch round. And I'm going to ink that up. thing I wanted to say was you know don't ever feel like you have to make the same thing I'm making and that you have to follow each video um, you can follow just like the slip and flip quad pocket quad folder and and try to make that for your journal and if you have questions you know hey 
contact me. My email is in the description box, I believe. Um, so, you know, easy way to contact me. And what else? Yeah, yeah, there's, um, you know, a lot of different ways to do things, and you might come up with a better way of um, getting something to work than I came up with. That's certainly a good thing. And, okay, there's just the geese. I guess we can put them in there, too. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty. Love the background on that, on this. It's just beautiful. My mama had a red check um, apron. I wonder if I have it. Oh, I do. I do have it. Yeah, my mama had one. And it always reminds me of when she was making cookies. and We'd get them uh, all ready. Can't we put them in coffee cans. We saved all the coffee cans. And this is when my brother was in Vietnam. And so we would send canned, cans of cookies to him. So, anyway, very, very hard time for my mama. But she kept herself busy and did a lot to, um, you know... That one has to be backed. Okay. I think we'll go with this one on the wider side this time. Oh, what do we got over here? Oh, we got this one. Let's do it. I think we can split it about in half. What did I say these were? There we go. We can do it that way. Yeah, I have her apron hanging up over there on the wall with all my aprons. Boy, I had a couple nights in a row I had dreams about my mom and when I woke up I was like man she was it seemed like she was right there it was like wow what are you doing here mom I had a dream like that with my uncle about my uncle Alex one night I um woke up in the middle of the night and or in the morning I don't remember which but when I woke up, I just remember I woke up and I was like, Uncle Alex, what are you doing here? My house is such a mess. You should have called first. And, and then he was gone. And I was like, man, it seems so real. And that's the way it was with my mama. I've had other, other occasions and visits. Um, I believe wholeheartedly in angels and you know I think it's because when I had a swimming accident and broke my nose I was totally not in my body anymore um, I really I there was I you know I don't know it was weird but I'm always grateful to to be alive and for my brothers for saving me. So yeah, that's for sure. Okay, so we have stuff there. The only thing we have left to do is these front pockets. And um, this. 
So I think I will let you go for now and we'll come back and finish these two pockets. Uh, we'll make something to go inside of here and then we will decorate these pages. I have some really cool rub-ons that we're going to use. And so once again, it'll be two more videos before we're all done. The very last video will be a walkthrough or it may happen. It just depends on how much we get done tomorrow. So anyway, I have to go and um, get dinner ready. And so I hope I've been on camera. If not, you won't see this video. You'll just hear me chatting. Okay, well, take care of yourselves and um, have a beautiful sunshiny day today, whether it's gloomy outside or not. And anyway, love you guys. Bye. Hello, hello. This is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts, and we are back to finish decorating the journal today. I want to welcome all of you to my channel and say hi, everybody. It's so good to have you with me. Um, I'm trying to figure out what to put over here. Um, it's kind of a sunflower page. And over here we have all sunflowers. Um, so I'm kind of thinking I should maybe stick with the yellow flowers. Um, I don't have very many big sunflowers left. I could. We could put another pocket on this page. We have a pockets here. I don't want to make it too bulky. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. Um, let's see what it might look like with a little bit of sheet music down here. And maybe some yellow flowers. That might be okay. Just to give it something to... to grip onto. Um, I, I just don't know. I, I don't know about this page. It's kind of got me. Um, this is too small. Um, there's some more of those geese. That kind of helps, doesn't it? It kind of makes it so the stems are anchored somewhere. Um, what else do we have? Oh, I have a chicken. No, the chicken says you can't cross. Chicken won't work. That chicken's just too bossy. Just adding a little flower down in there does help. Well, let's do it. I mean, what the heck? <laughs> let's go for it. Um, so first I'm going to put this down. But maybe I want just a little bit bigger piece. Let me grab one. I do have some ads in here. Um, there's some different language. Oh, and that paper feels good. And then I have these um, little more white, whitish colors. Hope there's no bad words on there. Let me know if there is. 
Um, yeah, let's see. Oh, you know what we need is just an ad or something there. Excuse me. I did not mean to cough, but I got a new scent thing going over in in part of my house, and I, I kind of <laughs> inhaled too much of it, I guess. There's some interesting languages. I think that one is Italian. Here's a German, I believe. Well, let's see what we can do with this. This is what we have. This is what we're going to use. Okay. So I want to first use my tearing ruler here. Give that a little tear. I will save the um, extras on this one because the paper is so yummy. Um, it would make great, um, great things to stamp words on. So I will save those. Throw those over there. No, I don't need to throw them. I'll just put them. Um, maybe we could. Put a little bit of interest in this music like this and then add a little bit of this German in here like this and then maybe just a little bit more music yeah I think so. Can you see that down here? Tearing this one is a little bit harder because it's so tiny. Okay. Okay. Let me scoop my chair up a bit because I can tell I need to be up a little bit closer. Okay. So let's bring this over. And first we'll look at this piece. And I think we'll tear it right about there. It's a little bit shorter right there. There. Now it doesn't come over the lip over here, and it doesn't go over the edge over there, except for right here. So I'm going to first glue that down. So how is everybody today? I sure hope you're all doing well. Um, we're doing great. The guys are working on the fence. That's why my dog barks so much, because she's... <sighs> One thing about my lab, I do, I have to say, is that she is very high strung. And because of that, she gets really nervous. I've never had a dog so nervous as her. She worries, worries constantly. And you can tell it's it's doggo worryo because she just she just um, she can't she can't contain herself and so it gets her in a little bit of trouble. Um, okay. 
Okay, so we have that. I'm going to go ahead and put that one on there. See if I can darken it just slightly. Hopefully we'll finish this all up today. Um, I did did put a few things in it. Um, I don't know how much I did with you guys yesterday. <clears throat> I, I really can't remember. <laughs> Oops. Um, and then we're going to go with a little bit of German. And before I put that down, I want to get this music in there. Right in here. Okay, so that gives it a little bit of a base. I think that will help. <clears throat> Now, we're going to see if we can pick this little yellow guy up and give, give her some beautiful aging lessons. Let this be a lesson. The ink is aging. But it's beautiful. Yes, you'll be so beautiful. You will be the envy of all other flowers. Trust me. Okay. There's that. Um, as you work with these tiny stems, they get a little bit weak. So I'm going to get some glue on there and... Hopefully I can get it glued down before it starts drying too much. <sighs> oh, what can I tell you about today? I don't know. I haven't done anything this week. I've been working so hard at getting this journal done. But next week, I hope to... Oh... I don't know. I don't know about next week. Next week might be a busy one. Starting next week, my husband is prepping for knee surgery. He had fallen earlier in the year. Well, last <laughs> 20, you know, in November, October, somewhere around there. I don't remember. Must have been, oh, maybe July. Anyway, he's waited this long, you know, to get seen and to be able to get an appointment for um, treatment for his busted up knee. He's been managing it fine. He's got a good tolerance to pain, better than, way better than me. But it disgusts me the way you have to, the way we have to wait for medical anymore. We used to have such great medical here in the U.S. and great doctors, and now you just wait, wait, wait for everything. So you wait for hearts. You, you wait for everything. It just it irks me. After that great great insurance plan that they thought up when Obama was our president, it went downhill from there. So, anyway, that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> uh, it has nothing to do with the political views. It has to do with personal views of 
what's you know what the heck is going on here in our country that's what it has to do with okay I want to put this one like right there Now let's take a look at these guys. Yep, I think I'll put them right here. They should be wandering around underneath all the bushes, shouldn't they? Eating up weeds and little bits and pieces and... Keeping the weeds down or in this case, weeding the words down so that they can get to the grass that's greener on the other side. Silly birds. The grass is not greener. It just sounds like it is. Because that's what everyone says. I might have to put their beaks back down. Don't want them coming up. Okay, I think that's better. So let's see what we can get in right here. Now we might have to put them in at, at a different angle, maybe coming in from a different direction, which means I would be cutting things off of here to kind of bring these in. I kind of like that so I think that's what I'll do because it has the red and the yellow so I'm going to clip that right there and right there and then because I want it to go straight across here, I'm going to cut right here, clip it over, and I'm going to cut straight across there. There we go. Now it fits. Now you can go there. Oh, I've got ink on my fingers. See that? That's not my dog barking. That's the neighbor dog that gets so lonely. <sighs> We've got a couple of hound dogs in the neighborhood. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love to listen to the hound dogs baying. Is that what it's called? I think so. Um. <laughs> oh, they just sound so cool. So, did I tell you what I want to do next week? Oh, I, I was starting to, and then I realized I have to have my husband at medical appointments. Hmm. Well, if I get a day off next week, <laughs> um, my plan is to go to some antique stores and just look around for a bit. Get out of the house and... Just enjoy the day. Okay. I just have to dry up that glue there. There. Oh, that looks nice. Okay, so we have our pull tabs here. And it's not really a pull tab. It's just... Um, scalloped on the edges. Sorry about all the ink. So that's what is here and here. So just two journaling cards. I don't want to overstuff here because this could be a fragile kind of area. So I won't show you everything I've put in here yet until we do the walkthrough. 
So I'm just going to tie this down so it's out of the way. Okay, that worked out good. Okay, so let's flip this over. Um, we have everything we want in here. This is just a simple little booklet to draw or sketch in or write in. It has these as a... Let's flip it. Well, we'll go over all that when we do our walkthrough. Save something good for the walkthrough. Then we have this flip quad flip. One, two, three, four. And I had one here that I thought we could go ahead and put this in just as a tuck spot. So let's go ahead and do that. And then let's see what else could we do. What else? What else? What else? <coughs> okay. Running glue here, here, and here. It's mostly just a tuck spot. It's not a great big important page, but it's important nonetheless. You see that? Ah. I know my rag is really inky and painty. I use them all up. <laughs> At least I try. Okay, so we need something to put in there. Now I do have this little booklet that I never made. It could go in there. Um, we would need to put some pages in it. And I think because we rounded that, We'll round this, but we'll quarter round this one, one fourth of an inch. And I don't think we need to do the back, do we? Let's do. That'll give us a little rounded corner back there, too. So we need some paper in there. And, um,. See, what do we have around here? What paper do we have? Um, oh, we still have some of this. Could we use it? I love that quad flip, slip and flip. Everybody should make a slip and flip. Um, okay. So, I don't mind this score line being in there. It kind of looks like stitching <laughs> a little bit. I'm going to lift that up to there. Bring this down to here. I'm going to cut it straight across. I think we'll have just enough papers in this piece of paper to make a nice little booklet be a little graph book up. Now this is a smaller amount here. You can tell. See it's quite a bit smaller. But I was thinking that should I should use it. Perhaps I should go this way with it. There we go. And then I'll we'll turn this one into a page. And this one. There we go. And here we go. That bird's going to go sideways. This one, let's see. Oh yeah, that's too big popping out there, isn't it? We'll have to cut it back. 
from there. And we want to be inside the book, so I'll cut back here. And then I want to quarter inch this twice. Okay. Oh, and we want to quarter inch it back here as well, don't we? Because I did that on the booklet. Okay. Let's see if we can hold this one up to fit. Go there and there. I hear a dog or a cat trying to get in here. I have the door closed today because Libby's so nervous. She just whining and crying and she just gets so nervous when people are here that aren't playing with her. She is the ultimate um, <laughs> diva, I guess you could say. She's my little diva. And she only wants people to pay attention to her. Okay, I will cut that off this time. Throw in some corners. There we go. Cute little booklet, huh? matches everything perfectly even though the paper didn't even come with it um, I do have this little one left over but I don't think we need it so I'm gonna put those over there the little tiny ones I'm going to throw away and I'm not going to worry about the inside just going to worry about my corners. Okay. I'm going to put that in there. <clears throat> and we need to stitch it closed. I don't want it to be too big, but what I have here right at the moment is this. So we will use it. Okay, just a little three-hole pamphlet stitch. There's one. Oops! Do you see what I'm doing? I'm pulling it all the way through. Come back here. I'm going to poke my hole through this side, even though I'm going to come in at it from the other side. This will just make it easier. Hold that other string out of your way so you don't go back through the string because that's pretty um, that's not a good thing to go back through the string okay I'm not going to do any dangles or anything in here I just want to this tied up. I'm not even going to worry about how tight it is, really. Okay, there we are. Just a cute little booklet. Look at that. Probably on the inside page we should have something. Oh, this should go back here. The white butterfly on the red, yep. I think so. I'm not going to ink this guy. Okay. There we go. Look at that. 
That's beautiful. Okay, so we probably need a flower. Ah, here's a pretty red one. Oh, I'm going to do it. Trying to use up a bunch of stuff. There we go. And it's kind of falling over to say hello to the butterfly. Offering it a nice wine glass size of nectar. The butterfly flies over. There you go. And I kind of feel like there needs to be something in here. Maybe it needs to be a pressed flower. Should we press that flower in there? There. <laughs> I like the idea of a pressed flower. We'll age up its petals a bit. And gosh, what we need is just a little piece of wax paper on it to make it look like a pressed flower, huh? Let's see. What do I have? work. It's kind of a cool idea though. Okay. There we could throw this one in as a pressed flower. No, let it go. Okay, let it go. This is going to go in the booklet. And we'll put um from the garden on here. Well then we gotta put pressed flowers in it, don't we? Kinda sounds like it. From the garden. Okay, so um, here's a pretty little pressed one. We could press that one. I'm not going to. I'm just going to put it in here for now because I'm overthinking. She's overthinking. Make her stop it. Okay, I'm stopping it right now. And right there is where that booklet is going to go. Okay, so this is the part that I went ahead and decorated. I added some of these um, pieces in here. I cut just a piece of the backing um, paper that had the advertisements on it and put it there which is laying on the desk um, we made these cards I think we did that together didn't we I put a rose up here um, let's see I think we need something here something, something so let's pull this sheet over 
and I think maybe we'll put just a sunflower right over here because it's just right here. So I'll cut around that. These came with the kit that Shannon has, or had. I don't know if she still has it. You'll have to check with her. I have her link down in this description box. Should be kind of highlighted, where it has the at sign and then Mixed Media Minnesota. Should just be able to click right on that. And then it will take you over to her page. I love these new um, st stickers that you stick on like this, um, whatever they're called. I can't think what they're called right at this second. But these are really nice. They, um, the plastic doesn't tear like the older ones sometimes did. go oh and they feel so good you guys they really do okay so I think maybe on this page we'll put a one of our hens are you a hen or are they all roosters when they have the thing on top of their head this one over here definitely because um, it's facing that way so rub-a-dub-dub -dub, a hen in the tub or a rooster in the booster seat It seems to me that the older ones, the older style from long ago, <laughs> back in the day, were much harder to apply. You had to put so much pressure on them that, you know, and then you could really feel them. And when these are down, they're really matte finish. They're not a high gloss finish or anything like that. I really like that. Over here, I think we'll put this one. a tool that belonged to me. It was all mine. There it is. Till I shared it with the roosters. Okay. be nice to have that fence done and let my dog get back to normal. 
Somebody told me I needed to go buy her some uh, some of that um, pet pot because she's so high strung. Well, I see the vet on. She sees the vet on Monday, so I'm going to ask the vet what he has that can make her calmer. Because boy, she needs something. She just gets gets too wound up. Now noises and stuff like that don't scare her, but she does bark. And you know, it's hard to keep her trained not to bark when every dog in the neighborhood barks. So that is part of the problem. Here's just this one. I think I will put it there. Just for fun. Why not? They can color it. You can color this all your own. I'm just trying not to overthink everything today because we're just down to the decorating part and if I let myself think too much I'll be off and running with another wild idea of what we could do next. You never know. <laughs> I could start a whole nother flip page in an, in an instant. Oh, my fingers are gluey. Oh, yeah. There, that's better. Okay, now this. You know, the paper just absorbs so much of the liquid out of the glue. Once it absorbs it, then it sticks down easier. This is a little stiffer cardboardy type piece, so it doesn't want to stick down. I think on this one, this is just the plain one, but I think in this one we're going to put live in the sunshine. You are the sunshine of my life. So I want to put that on here. There we go. This one I'm not too concerned about. Um, I think it's fine just as it is. That's our little patch. Um, I just put some greenery here and um, there's a little yellow one. This one's kind of neat because if you have the page open, it matches here. I'm not going to ink this one. It's too fragile. Um, you can see its little head is bowing down.
Oh, how sweet. Okay. That, that, and then we have that. Okay, so now we're here. We're not going to worry about inside of there. We're not going to worry about that. I know we have a bicycle that we need to use. Um, where is it now? I think I put it up here. So I do want to put this in. Um, do we want to put it in against um, the chicken wire? Where'd my chicken wire go? Oops, let me throw that piece of paper away. Is it parked up against the chicken wire? I don't really like that there. I think it will be parked here. Um... I don't want to put the barbed wire on. Hmm. It's kind of hard. I just think that's going to get caught up in a lot of things. Um... Think. I think we'll just glue it down. I was trying to decide if I wanted to um, just glue it or if I wanted to uh, make it a tuck spot, but it's got some really fragile pieces on it. So I'm just going to glue it down because I do want to use it. I think that it's important. On the farm, we might need a bicycle. I mean, you could ride your bicycle down to the stream and go fishing. That would be cool. Ugh. Oh, it's so gluey. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Keep wiggling your rag, otherwise something will stick, and then, then what? When you pull the tire off or something? Oh, like that. I just they lost a spoke. Well, we're not replacing it. There we go. It's got a broken spoke, but it still rides. really doesn't even have a very comfortable seat on it, does it? Okay, there's that. There's that. Um, I think we'll put this here. I like the way that looks with the writing. I think that is so pretty. Sometimes I think a little paintbrush would be better just to put glue on these. Could just paint it on. Might work a little better. Might be able to get all the little tiny things. There we go, we're getting there. I knew there would be a place for this flower. Oh 
Oh, we're at 42 minutes. Man. I didn't quite get it in there like I wanted. I wanted it at an angle, but, well, you know, I got it in there straight up, straight up and down. So it will do. Oh my goodness. But it is coming together nicely, isn't it? this one in here just like that we haven't used the red one so much yet so we might as well I do want to try and use as much of them as I can have some pressed flour somewhere. I know I do. I know I do. Um, gosh, I think they're over in my sticker drawer. I was going to move them over here and I think I forgot. But maybe they're over here. I don't know. looks nice. I like it. Okay, that's the center of the page. Um, we'll put this one over here. Got Shannon put some flowers in with this too. Hmm. Oh man, I forgot all about those. There's that. And we'll put this one over there. I don't know. These don't want to stay laid down very well. Walk away from the page. I will. As soon as I put the butterfly near it. So I am kind of trying to work a little quick here. So we can get things done. This guy on in the flower. Okay. Probably all the pages will be stuck together tomorrow. big sunflower here. Do I want the bee? Sure. Let's put the bee with it. Put 
put that be with it too. <laughs> Put it right here. You know it's taking up a lot of space. Well, you know, bees need a lot of room. I like to give bees a lot of space. Although I am just thrilled to watch the honeybees. But they do sting. If you're not very nice, they will get you. Isn't that pretty? Gosh, that's pretty. That looks really nice. Oh, I love that. Um, I think I'll put this one on here. This is what I should have put in the little book. I should have just pressed one of these in there, literally. Pressed it in with this little tool. How cool would that be? is so cool. These are really nice, you guys. Really, really, really nice. Um, whatever you're calling. <laughs> the word is gone for me. Everybody's facing the wrong direction now, except for the geese to go over here. Oops, I almost cut the goose's head off. That would not have been very nice of me. Well, I didn't do that. I just barely got his tail on there, too. Oh my gosh. Cutting the head off of one and the tail off of another. You guys are going to think I'm, I'm horrifying. At least we don't make uh, goose noodle soup. 
At least I don't. I have never. Uh, I tried goose one time. It was in one of those. What do you call them when it's a turkey, uh, a, a duck inside of a, a turducken? Yeah, it was a duck. And it was inside of a turkey. Um, I did not like it. No. So. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? I hope that doesn't make the pages stick together or anything. Okay. My friends, we are done. When we come back tomorrow, we are doing a walkthrough. Or maybe I'll do it later after this video. Um, maybe I'll go ahead and get this cleaned up and um, get ready to do a flip through of the book and hey that'll be it for today thanks for joining me I hope you all had a good time with this journal and please come back and watch the walkthrough and uh, don't forget give this video and the others a thumbs up and um, become a subscriber if you're not I have a lot of content and I really enjoy answering the comments so don't forget to leave a comment and I will see you all later. Bye.